Hello, and thank you for choosing Lightspeed Voice. Commander offers a few different features for your office that can be accessed from anywhere, including your cell phone. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to manually open and close your office from anywhere, followed by some other select options that Commander offers. You'll need to go to yourserver.prismpbx.com forward slash commander. The login credentials for this website are the same as your administrator portal login credentials which should have been provided to you prior to your Lightspeed Voice account activation. Input your admin login credentials and click Login. Along the top, you'll see a drop-down menu that allows you to select which office you'd like to make changes to. By default, most offices will be set to automatic, and will follow the open hours you've set with Lightspeed Voice. Force Open will change your office to open no matter what time of day. The drop-down menu will allow you to choose where calls will go. For some offices, you may just have one ring group, which is common, but for larger offices, you may have multiple selections. Those selections may include an IVR, which is an interactive voice recording, or a queue, depending on how your office has been set up with Lightspeed Voice. Force Close will change your office to closed no matter what time of day. Just like with Force Open, the drop-down menu will allow you to choose where calls go during this time. You can add or remove destinations by clicking Add Remove Numbers, typing in a 10-digit number, and clicking Save. Force Close also has other location options. For example, you can send calls to an IVR just like with Force Open. Another useful tool is that you can send calls to a voicemail box within the office. Once you click voicemail, a second option will appear that allows you to choose the voicemail box you'd like calls routed to. If you choose to force close the office, it will stay force closed until you make another selection. Typically, you want to set it back to automatic whenever your override is done. To observe some other options available in Commander, click the drop-down box in the upper right, then select Settings. The first option you'll see is the ability to change the name of the office you currently have selected. In this example, it currently says Florida Office, but if I'd like to make that more specific, I could change the name to Southwest Florida Office. Just below that, you'll see the second option allows you to change whether incoming calls are being recorded. This will only affect calls that take place after this preference has been changed. To make changes, click on the slider until your preferred option is set. The third and final change that can be made here is your inbound ring pattern. You can make changes to the pattern here and then try them out. If you go to the drop-down box in the upper right again, you'll see your final available selection is desktop version. This will take you to your administrator portal. Due to the website's complexity, it's recommended that you only select this option when using a computer. This concludes our tutorial on the functions and abilities of using Commander. And thank you for choosing Lightspeed Voice.